Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you've been here for a long time, thank you for staying around. <laughs> um, today's video is going to be a quickie. I want to update you on my pan those eyeshadows. There's not a huge, like there's not going to be any rollouts or anything, but I need to change one of them. I'll just get into it so you can understand. So if you haven't watched the intro to this video, I'll link it below. Um, I picked four, I didn't pick, I randomized four single shadows and the four I got were all color pop except for one. One, I don't know who it's by. So these are the shades. This one is Slim Fit. This one is Pretty Please. This one is Upon a Star. And this one is the no label, have no clue who it's from, and I just named it Taupe Pink. Um, the one I needed to change was Upon a Star, and this is it. Let's see if you can... It is very crumbly. I think it's expired. The four times I used it, it, like, it, was, just, it was just falling all over my face. Um... But I did have a backup, so today I had to search and search and search for this sucker, but um, let me get it out. I used the replacement today, and it went a lot better. There's a little bit of fallout, but that's, you know, anything that's shimmery is going to have some fallout. But this one didn't crumble. Like, the other one literally was, like, crumbling when I just went to, like, use my finger to... Um, put it on so this is the other the other one and it's only been used today but I'm going to um, I don't know if you can tell the difference probably can't but this is the one I'm that I had and this is the one I'm replacing it with so this has only had one use but I'm gonna roll over the counts I did on this one um, so for upon a star we have four yeah, so we have four uses, so we have a ways to go. Um, only used this one once so far. And then, I'm just going to hold the palette up instead of... Um, yeah, when I had that other one, I had glitter all over this, just from how it crumbled all over the place. So I had to clean all that up, and I was just like, I ain't doing this no more. So I hope you guys are cool with me rolling in the same color, just, you know, a newer one. All right, so let's start with this guy. It took me a while to want to use this guy because he looks scary in the pan. This is Slim Fit. I've used it five times. I have learned to use it blended out really well and then it's not so corally. It comes off a little more pink, sometimes a little red if I mix it with this guy. So this is five times. This is pretty please. Um, this was used 11 times. I use him every single time I do my eye. <laughs> my eye makeup, this is my crease. Uh, and if you can tell, it barely looks used. It's so frustrating. Color pop! <laughs> Alright, the next one was the one we just uh, replaced, which is Upon a Star. Four uses. And then our taupe pink shimmer is seven times. Hope you can see that these have been getting some use. Um, no pan in sight. Probably won't get any pan. It's probably going to be just to the 20 use mark. So we have a ways to go. Like I said, this wasn't going to be really, really exciting or a long video or anything. I just wanted to let you know I was replacing Upon a Star with my newer one, which is probably not even that new, but it's not crumbling. So we're going to use it. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to use these, I'm actually wearing all of the colors today. Um, I did the Pretty Please in the Crease mixed with Slim Fit, so that's where I'm getting the little pe uh, pinky reddish shade. Um, and then I did Upon a Star all over the lid, but I didn't like how it it. it Look, my eyes look really wrinkly when I have just that on. So I put um, taupe pink dabbed on top to make it look a little smoother. And then taupe pink is also in my inner corner. And this is how I've been wearing these shadows for the last 
three or four times that I've used them, so found a way. That's all that matters. That won't be updating this until I actually have 20 uses or hit pan. I'm not loving Upon a Star, but I'm going to keep using it. It's the way it is with pan those eyeshadows, but it's probably not going to get out anytime soon because I don't want to keep having to use that all over my lid every time. So if you have any suggestions on what to do with these shades, let me know. All right, that's all I had for you. Thank you for stopping by and giving me some of your time. I hope I see you in the next video.